Hello everyone. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of some pointers to convert this isometric drawing into an oblique drawing. So as we discussed in isometric drawings, we have three axes. We have our x, we have our x going this way, our y mirroring that, and our z going straight up. When we have our Y and our Z axes together, that's our side view. And of course, you guys should know by now, this is our front view and our top view. However, oblique drawings don't obey these same rules. To determine which of our viewpoints is our front face, we have to create what's called an orthographic projection. So we have to imagine what the front looks, what the top view looks, and what the side view looks. So let's draw that on this sheet of paper right here. So let us create our front view. So to start everything off, we're going to create a rectangle because that's what we're going to see when we look at this from the front. And we're just going to see one, sorry, one, two lines. As I mentioned in our front face features list, these lines do not count as a feature. So because we have no features on our front view, this does not count as our front face. So let's look at the top view now. When we look at our top view, again, we have a rectangle with one, two lines. So as I said from the front viewpoint, these lines do not count as a feature. So because there are zero features in this line, sorry, there are zero features in this viewpoint, the top view is not going to be our front face either. However, let's look at the side view. When we look at the side view, we have one, two, three steps. And as I said in our front face features list, steps count as a feature. So because we have these two steps, our side view will now become our front view. So to start off our oblique drawings, we have to make a two dimensional view of our side view of this block. So to do that, as you guys know, get your graph paper and start with a dot. To make this drawing, we're going to go to the right, one, two, three, four spaces. Okay, I'm going to use a straight edge. In these examples, because we're using graph paper, you don't have to use your triangle. That's the wonderful thing about this, because the graph paper is going to guide you. We're going to go up one space. And we're going to start creating our first step. And if you want to go to the other side of this block, you can go up one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If we look at this example, from this line, we go one, two spaces to the left. Again, we go back to our isometric example and we go down one, two spaces. We're almost there. We're almost finished. So again, just make this step by going one to the left and one down. And finally, for those who guessed it, you'd be correct in saying we can connect these two lines with our final horizontal line. Look at that. So now we have a two-dimensional view 
of our side face. So the next step to create our oblique drawing is we're going to add the projection lines. So to do that, we have to count the amount of line spaces in our front view. So we have one, two, three spaces. So to do this, we go to our corner and we count one, two, three spaces to the right and we go up three spaces. One, two, three. What this does is that it ensures that you have one, two, three spaces of your 45 degree line. And it also ensures that you have all your angles in a uniform and consistent angle. There we go. Please do this for the other corners. In fact, for these steps, it's gonna be so much easier because they're just gonna cross each other. It's gonna be one line. Again, one, two, three, one, two, three. From here, one, two, three, one, two, three. So now we have our projection lines. To finish off this drawing, we are going to create the horizontal and vertical line for our back face. After we create the back edges of our back face, we now have our oblique drawing. So again, to remind you guys, the front face is the viewpoint with the most features. Features include holes, slots, steps, chamfers, bevels, and etc. Because as I explained on Friday, there may be other features that may not be included in this list. However, object lines, object lines, oh, let me just make sure my camera is to go. Object lines, hidden lines, ghost lines, center lines. What is wrong with me today? I'm writing center lines, guys. Something's wrong. It's late. These lines are not features. So remember, holes, slots, steps, chamfers, bevels, etc. These are the features that nominate our viewpoint to become our front face. Hopefully this helped, and I look forward to seeing all of your drawings tonight.